Hey friends, in this video, I'm gonna show you how I transformed our boring dark hallway ceiling into a bright, colorful LED fiber optic starry sky with a circle moon enclosure to get to our attic, new lighting, and it's all remote control. Let's get into the video. All right, so I wanna transform the ceiling. It's needed a little bit of love anyways, and I've also wanted to add another can light over here, as well as do something different for the crawl space for the attic. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to do this hallway in two sheets. So I'm thinking one long sheet that goes along here and hopefully being able to end right at the seam and then I'll cut a whole nother section for this area. And I got a harebrained idea to change this square to a circle opening, uh, but let's see if the two sheets that I just cut fit in this area. I had to make some specialty little notches out for this trim area in there, and then I'll cut the area for the can, and let's see if it works. Let's get good, let's get good. Okay, that makes me happy. A little bit more of a gap than I would have liked on the edge, but when in doubt, trim it out. Oh, there it does. That was it. Now let's try the other one. So I think in order for me to get a true flush board up here and see how everything matches up, I'm gonna need to take this trim down and then I'm also gonna need to take this light down. I need to drill this hole a little bigger so I can see what I'm working with when I go to put that board up. Okay, so my game plan, I ripped down these boards. So they're about like half inch thick. I'm gonna put them all the way around the perimeter. That way I can attach these thinner boards that are gonna house all the LED fiber optics. That'll also give me that little bit of extra clearance. So now that these are ripped down, let's uh, cut them to size and attach them up there. All right, I got all my boards cut to fit. My thought process is I'm gonna use my brad nailer to just tack them up in place. I know that that's not gonna be hold enough to hold everything, but it'll at least get it where I need it and then I can screw the rest of it into place. Okay, now that I got my little perimeter borders to be able to attach it, let me see how my boards that I've cut out fit now. Let's give it a little dry run. Fingers crossed that it fits. with all those fiber optics. So I'm glad I have a little bend to it. Okay, my boards fit. I have that little cross brace for where the seam is. Now I need to measure where the can is here and then where I want a new can light to go here and then drill the hole out for both of those. Let's do that part. So I'm gonna actually just measure it out, make sure I get the exact measurements, mark it out, and then I'm gonna cut a circle on my board, but I'm gonna cut it a little bit smaller so that I have a opening to access that, and then I'll do a larger circle um, on a hinge for the opening. Now that I got my panels ready and prepped, it's time to work on some lighting. I'm gonna switch out this six inch can and I'm also gonna add another can lighting over here. This hole is for where I'm gonna bring in the LED fiber optic lighting for the panels, but I'm gonna switch it out for these thin can lightings that I got off Amazon. Fun, you can add whatever color you want. There's multiple different options. You can control them with your phone so you can switch up whatever color lights you're feeling. I'm gonna switch out this six inch can and I'm gonna add one right over here. All right, wiring was a success. Uh, I just have it hanging for now because I obviously need to put the panel up, but I have now one can and a second one and I've been messing around with the color setting, which you can do on the phone. That's cool. So I can mess around with getting the different color settings on the phone. Awesome. All right, moving right along. It's time to decide what I'm gonna paint the panels for the LED lighting. I went back and forth of whether I wanted to do like a dark, color, whether it was like a black or a navy blue, or just go with the whole white. And I'm leaning towards going for the white. So let's paint the panels all white and then I'll drill the different holes out for the LED fiber optic lighting. Let's get to it. All right, now we're finally to the fun part of the project, adding in the fiber optic LED lighting. There's 300 strands on this set and 300 strands on this set. 
So 600 total. It also came with some drill bits. These drill bits are really small, so I'm gonna have to use a Dremel. Thankfully, I have a lot of Dremels on hand. Don't ask why I have so many. But I think for this project, we'll go with the cordless and I'll just pull out three of them. That way we have three ready to go with the three different sizes. And then we'll just start drilling all the holes. I've done a couple little practice runs to get like an idea of what it's gonna be like. I got my drill bits out, the glue gun uh, to glue them in place once we feed the holes through. And then here are our three different sizes. So let's get drilling some holes in the first panel. 300 in this one and then 300 in the other one. Okay, all 600 holes are drilled. As much as I'm like super excited and wanna go ahead and start feeding through the LED uh, fiber optic lighting, something's telling me that I really should refit this one one last time and make sure that my circle opening with the hatch works before I do all of the extra stuff. So I got a couple different hinges out to play with. Here's the circle. Um, that's gonna be ultimately the hatch. It's a little thicker, it's quarter inch thick, where these panels are eighth inch. I'll probably need to add a little block situation up there. So uh, let's go put that panel up and see how this all works out before I feed through the fiber optics, then we'll get back to it. So. All right, for now, I'm happy with this. At least the trap door situation works. I could always figure out and tinker with it a little bit later. But now, let's pull this down and run all the LED fiber optic lighting to make this star ceiling come to life. The hole for this guy is like right, right about here. I got nine feet to play with. This is gonna be plenty of room. So I'll have that be my central location. I guess I'll just start with all the large ones and then work my way down. Okay, let's do this. Oh man, there's just one panel. I still got one more to do, but okay. Now that I have all of those through the hole, I've actually used a little bit of some saran wrap because that's what they had originally wrapped around the cables. So I figured I'd use that to kind of secure some of it together. Now let's really secure it down by adding some hot glue, a little dab right where all the connections are. That'll keep it in place when I go to cut the other side. Um, I'll probably turn the hot glue on and then turn it off so it's at its lowest setting, almost like pretty much off because I don't want to burn and melt the fiber optics. So let's give this a go. Okay, everything's got a little dollop of glue and it's held in place. So now to cut back some of this and make it a little bit more manageable, I'm gonna leave like a couple inches on all of this, that way we don't get caught up and then I'm gonna go drill the board up and we'll see how it looks. <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna install the first panel. I'm nervous, but uh, there's only one way to see if I have enough clearance for all those fiber optic LED wires. <sighs> but I've enlisted help. My buddy's here, so let's get to installing okay. this first panel. Which way does it go? It's gonna come up. I'm gonna make sure I hit the, finish the trim. Oh, you did it, girl! Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, okay, okay so wait, wait, oh, wait, what, where is? Hold on, those are coming down. That's okay, we should have pulled that thing through. The brain's on the I If I didn't think about this, this would have been a You got it? Here, I'm gonna scoot it up. You got it? Yeah. Okay, go okay. into the hole. And that helps your whole situation on the side. Yeah. Okay. okay, so now. And that guy's What is this for? So, this is the hatch. Okay, so you, uh, I just say all. Oh, because I got really excited oh. to show this. Oh, tell me. So now what is this? So, this is my crazy hairbrain contraption. I change the square to a circle. Got my little hatch situation here, and it goes bop, and then bop, and that's how you get up into the attic. Yes, 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 yeah. two. Ta da! What the heck? <gasps> I have an attack. Glad I caught that. <laughs> I cannot. Oh, fuck. We'll make sure we attach the magnet. Jesus. <laughs> so the double sticky tape is not strong enough. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so this panel is done. Well, I still need to trim them, but now let's work on that panel. 
All right, so I learned something from doing the last panel. I started with the largest and went to the smallest. This panel, I'm gonna give it a go and I'm gonna start with the smallest, the 200 pieces, and then I'm gonna go to the medium, the 70, and then this largest, the 30 piece, just so the largest, they were a little bit harder to maneuver in and I feel like this will help hold down all of the smaller ones. So, enough talk, let's get to it. Okay, so I'm definitely getting a whole rhythm going here. Like, look how much cleaner and neater this is. By doing the smaller cables first, and I'm just trying to kind of keep the same tautness from each one, that way I can kind of group and bunch these together with some cellophane wrap. But I'm so much more proud of this. I mean, definitely a lesson learned from my first panel. This one is going so much smoother and so much neater. I got this half done with the small. Now I need to start working my way to this half. Let's get back to it. All right, there she is, the last panel. Now it's time to glue all the strands down. I found it best to just turn my hot glue gun on, let it warm up, and then turn it off. That way I'm not using it at full power and I don't melt the fiber optics. Basically, I just need to make a little dollop of glue at where the connection is, that way it holds it in, and then I'll trim the underside once we mount it. But without further ado, let's get to gluing. Okay, last panel. Oh, I'm so excited. It's actually cool to see it during the day with the lights and I still have to trim all of these, but I figure I'll do all of it at once. Let's uh, get this panel up. All right, both panels are up. Now it's time to go and cut all the fiber optic LED lighting flush with the ceiling. I'm gonna use these uh, wire cutters so that I get a nice flush cut. Let's get to it. All right, they're all trimmed. I have a little patchwork to do and obviously some trimming on the sides and then I still need to figure that out, but it looks so good. I'm so happy with it. Oh, I love it. I definitely need to go along there and uh, do a little caulking situation and then I need to trim everything out and do a little touch up paint, but yes, love it. Uh, I'll let the caulking and all of that dry, then I'll come back to some touch up paint where needed, but we're looking good so far. I still need to cut out another circle. I'm gonna write it on the CNC and do a little moon pattern so it'll uh, cover that up. I'm also probably gonna put a second magnet so it holds a little bit tighter. And uh, yeah, looking good so far. All right, now it's time to uh, cut these little tabs, pull this guy out. I'm gonna paint it, maybe put some epoxy on it, and then add it to the uh, ceiling. Stoked on how this turned out. All right, now that I've got it all sanded down and all the little nooks and crannies, I'm gonna give it a coat of white paint with spray paint, that way I get all the little side situations. Then we'll decide if we're gonna do an epoxy pour with some glow-in-the-dark pigments in these areas, or if I'm gonna do it on this area. Um, but first, let's uh, prime it white. Because I'm gonna put it in this channeled area and there's no lip here, I'm gonna need to tape myself a border but that also gives me a little bit of action to tape off the bottom. There is a little bit of like flex with this, so I'm probably gonna use some mounting tape to mount it down, just to be on the safe side and it'll keep everything flat. I'll put a level on it. But uh, without further ado, let's, let's get to it. I'm gonna be using Maker Epoxy by Total Boat, one to one. Super easy, part A, part B. And I'm gonna tint it to a color, a little gray action for the craters. We're just gonna pour super, super thin, so we don't need a lot. And now we wait. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, I hope I put enough glow-in-the-dark pigment in there. But we'll know in just a few. Okay, so I was a little impatient, and I ended up doing one more pour over the moon with the clear epoxy. Okay, it's not fully cured, but it's dark out, which is what we really wanna see. So without further ado, let me turn off the lights and let's see how the pigment turned out. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can definitely see some areas where I went a little crazy where I was using the powder pigment and just kinda like, ooh, ooh, but 
it looks so cool with the differentiation of the two different blues. There's the light blue and the dark blue glow in the dark pigment. And then I didn't put any pigment on those areas. And then I really concentrated around the edges to kind of give that halo effect. Well, there it is. I am so excited about how it turned out. I love the two different color pigments. I still need to wait a full 24 hours before I can take the tape off and then sand the edges. But this is what it looks like at night, fully charged up with the light and it's glowing in the dark. It looks so good. Okay, the moon is complete. The epoxy's dried, I have the new magnets on, I got my string light around it, so I'm gonna install it. Fingers crossed that the extra magnets are gonna hold. Just in case though, we're ready. So, let me get my drill. Oh, okay. Now, the real moment of truth. Oh my gosh. It's not falling. It's not falling! little bit of a gap right back there. I might need to do some adjusting. Well, there it is, friends, the hallway transformation. It's come a long way from being that dark, boring hallway to this bright, colorful fiber optic ceiling with color changing lights. That moon, oh, I absolutely love it. The epoxy and the glow in the dark pigments turned out amazing. Huge shout out to Total Boat. I absolutely love this hallway. It's probably my favorite room in the house now. It has all the vibe and it's all in the click of a remote where I can change it up at any time to see if I want it brighter, more colorful, less of a vibe. It's just so much fun. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and until next time friends when we get into some more harebrained ideas together.